What's up, Honda fans? I'm Honda Laura, and today we are doing a review on the 2023 Honda HRV. So let's get it going. Thank you to Herb Chambers, Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the HRV today. 2023 brought a whole new redesign for the HRV. We are super excited for this walk around. We have the sport model. So let's start off with the exterior features. Starting off at the front end, this HRV is featured in the awesome color. It's urban gray pearl. The first thing that you notice up front is gonna be the grill. It's specific to the sport model and it's a really cool black honeycomb design. It has a sleek LED daytime running light and LED headlights. And then you just see furthermore of that great sculpting throughout. Moving down alongside and to further go off that sport platform is the 18 inch glossy black alloy wheels and black side mirrors. They also have turn signal indicator and they're heated. Down a little bit more, you have the smart entry system that's featured on the HRV and the auto walk away. So all you have to do is have your key fob with you. You can lock and unlock and when you get far enough away, it'll automatically lock for you. That's a feature I love and I use every day. Also has the remote engine start. Great for living in cold climates like we do. Down along the backside, you have the uh, deck lid spoiler. The sport model features it in black. You have LED taillights and as always, backup camera. It also features the chrome exhaust finishers. Now let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the 2023 Honda HRV. It's a two liter four cylinder engine which produces 158 horsepower. It has a CVT transmission and we have the all wheel drive model. And all together it yields 25 city, 30 highway and a combine of 27 miles per gallon. That was the sporty exterior. Now let's take a look at the ergonomic and modern interior. So here we are behind the wheel of the 23 HRV. This is my first time behind the wheel, so my first impressions are, I really, even though this is a redesign, I do really like that I still feel like I am in an HRV, one of the classic HRVs. However, this one is now built on the Civic platform instead of a Fitz platform. So I really do get all that elegant, sleek, modern feel of the Civic in here as well. Uh, it's a little bit more spacious than the traditional HRV. I really like it. You don't feel like you're sitting right on top of the other person. Very, very spacious. I love the whole design, the sleek, modern, soft touch materials. It's great. The steering wheel, I love the design. It has um, leather wrap and there's some glossy black parts of it. And then all the buttons are just super easy to use. Honda Sensing is standard on the HRV. And then the screen up front has a seven inch info screen that has um, colorful, a lot of information, and uh, it's really, really user friendly. I just got in here for the very first time and I already know exactly what to point out to use it. So it's a great, great design. The uh, audio system is a seven inch touch screen as well. It features the backup camera with the dynamic angles and the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, the climate controls are right here as well. You have heated seats on the sport model and the uh, heated mirrors. Uh, lots of storage space, cup holders, your shifter knob here, and then a lot of different drive mode buttons and your ele electronic parking brake and the brake hold system, which I am a big fan of. I like to use it in the Starbucks drive through Now let's take a look at the back seats. 
back seat of the HRV is extremely spacious. It is a lot more spacious than I remember the HRV having. This one has 98.7 cubic feet of passenger volume throughout, so it's extremely spacious. And I do like the pattern of the sport model that ha they have in here. Uh, some red stitching and the, and the um, insert. Now let's take a look at the cargo space. So even though the HRV is a compact SUV, it still has an amazing amount of cargo space. It has a 60-40 split on the second row, and when you recline your second row seats, you get 55.1 cubic feet of cargo volume. The HRV might be sleek and modern and ergonomic and beautiful to look at, but the most exciting part is how it drives. So let's take it out on the road. The, this HRV is extremely smooth. It just glides right along. I really like the very first driving impressions of it. I am also a fan of the CVT transmission. I think it's just very, very smooth, a very smooth transition uh, shifting. I think I've gotten used to that and I think that's now my preference. Unpopular opinion. In my opinion, I think they did a great job on this new redesign. It's quieter. There's far more visibility here overall. It's, um, I feel like a little bit lower and, and a wider stance on it. It's extremely smooth. I think it's a great, great design. Honda Sensing for the HRV is standard. It is the whole set of safety features that just help you drive a little bit more safely. One of the features that I find most helpful is the collision mitigated braking system. So if somebody comes up really quick uh, in front of you, it'll alert you. And if you don't respond and you don't brake fast enough, the car will actually brake for you. It's going to try to uh, alleviate or lessen the severity of any sort of like head-on collision. Super duper helpful. Honda really stressed the word like ergonomic when they were doing it and I think they definitely achieved that. The seat is super comfortable. I love the whole positioning, the armrest, where the shifter knob is, the tilt of the steering wheel. Uh, I think it is a slam dunk. And that was our review on the 2023 Honda HRV in the Sport trim level. It has an MSRP of 27,150. Thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the HRV today. If you are interested and you'd like to see the other two trim levels of the EXL and the LX, give us a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Honda Laura, and I'll see you next time.